All right, now we're going to go through our basic 12 strikes. We're going to do a couple different variations. I'm going to do the basic set, the hammer strikes, a couple different ways. First, I'm going to do it in place. I'm not even going to move the feet. So, from here, I said my right hand, I'll be striking to the opponent's left ear, down or diagonal, and then to the opponent's right ear. Now, these give you foundational targets. From here, I come up to the opponent's left knee, then I come up to the opponent's right knee, all the way up to the chin. These strikes come from the knee up to the chin. That comes into play much later, especially with bladed weapons. Five. We want to go to the groin, right up the center line. Notice how it goes up the center line. Sometimes you see it go off to an angle, but basically you want to come right up the center line here. Six. We're aiming for the floating ribs. Lateral strike. And then seven, reverse lateral, again to the floating ribs. Eight, right down on the top of the head, right to the center of the cranium. Ooh. Nine. Now, depending on who are on the, where this weapon lands, it's going to depend, depend on where you think nine comes from. Nine is going to come right up to the throat. Now, we actually want to turn the body here, right up to the throat. And then ten. Again, get that body in play. Ten, right at the throat. Ooh. Eleven, from this side of the body, right to the crown of the head. And twelve is going to be double-handed to the bridge of the nose. Mm. So now I'm going to add attacking footwork. I don't have much room, so I might have to short, shorten the legs up. Then I'll do a demonstration of with longer strides. So again, remember these strikes, uh, we do give you a target, but at the same time, all the area around that target is going to be very functional, very good for you. And as you practice, you can practice like one strike, start to make the weapon sing. Let the weapon swing, make the weapon sing. Alright, so, with that being said, we go here. Ready? One. Two to the ear. Three, knee chin. Four, knee chin. Five, groin, center line. Six, floating ribs. I'm going to slide back. Seven, reverse lateral floating ribs. Eight, turn the head. Now see, with the hammer strike, the stick ends up here. So as I go to nine, which is actually some get these right. I'm on that side. Ten. Again, some get these right to the throat. Eleven. Crown of the head. And twelve. Good to the nose. Alright, so we'll do that defensive footwork. What you tend to see with your defensive footwork is different patterns of footwork. Slightly is different, not overly different all the time, but you may go from one side to the other depending on the flow of your opponent's weapon. Was that confusing enough? I hope so. <laughs> Alright, so. One. Two. This time I'm using a 45 degree defensive forward. Three. Four. Five. All the way up, center line. Six, we want to go floating ribs. Seven, reverse lateral, floating ribs. Four, eight, crown of the head. Now, this sets me up. I do seven here, I do eight here. This sets me up for nine. Throat, ten. Throat, ten kind of stays in the same place. So we can crank out the eleven and go right to twelve. So, there's your 12 strikes, basic strikes, basic hammer strikes. Now, the thing about your basic hammer strikes is it also includes a couple of Sengete strikes. So, this will give you more patterns to work with. And from there, we can continue. So, well, that'll do it for now. We'll see you next time. Practice, practice, practice.